Hey everyone, this is Sarah Witten of Sarah Witten Voice and Yoga. I wanted to make a quick video for you today about how to sit better. Ideally, we don't want to sit a ton because sitting contributes to a lot of problems in our bodies, um, especially physical pain that you might feel in your low back. Um, so if you can't be up moving and walking because you're having to sit at a rehearsal or you're having to sit in your car or you're having to sit for work, you want to sit as well as you possibly can to minimize the effects of what sitting is going to do to your body. So here's a quick way to get yourself seated in a way that will be more or less optimal. So start with getting your feet flat on the ground. Um, you can take your shoes off. If you've got either a tall chair or short legs, you want to slide something underneath your feet so that you can press your feet into something. Have your legs coming out right from the points of your hip bones and then your knees at 90 degrees from there. Sit forward on your chair. You don't want to sort of sit back so that you're tending to slump, but you want to come towards the front of the chair. And then you can reach down, feel underneath your pelvis for the knob that's the bottom of your pelvis. Once you find it, then pull everything out of the way and let that sit back down. And then do the other side, finding the knob on this side and pulling everything out and setting it back down. And once you're up like that, you've got your pelvis in a more or less neutral upright position. Bring your hand onto your rib cage. If you are a rib cage thruster, which means that your ribs are coming forward, you're locking down your back and you're locking down your back rib cage, which is where we really want to expand when the breath comes in. So let your rib cage be heavy from here. So that what lines up is that the bottom of your rib cage is right over that front point called the ASIS of your hip bone. And once you're there, you shouldn't feel back pain if you're sitting in an actual upright position. So watch out that you aren't rolling back. We tend to sit on our tail bones and roll back and slump. And we do that because we sit on soft surfaces like couches and chairs that are cushy. We do it because we're bored with whatever we're doing. We do it because it's a bad habit. And we do it because our hamstrings, which are the back of our legs are tight, our pelvises are tight, and our low backs are tight. So if you find yourself rolling back, just be sure that you come back forward. If you have a lot of trouble staying there, this is called the wedge. And you can get one of these, you shake it, so that you get all the stuff down to the end. And then you put it on your chair and there's a line of seaming. And what you wanna do is get the knobs of your pelvis right on those seams. And what you'll find is that you can't roll back onto your tailbone. It keeps you upright. So give it a try without the wedge. If you need the wedge, I think you can probably get it on Amazon. Um, and just see what you notice about what happens to your breath and to your voice when you are sitting better. Enjoy.